drop, pin and drop. You, you once said something that I, I felt really stood out. You said when you were rapping about the depression and how much you hated life, you were being praised for that. And you felt like the devil had came into your life and made you believe he was there to save you. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, bro. So, you know, uh, as a lot of people know now, you know, uh, I'm a Christian. I follow the Christian faith. And, you know, when you go to church, you know, everybody got their hands up. Everybody's singing the songs and they got their hands up because they're worshiping God. So it's like when I look back at that time, it, it's crazy how I was rapping about killing myself. I was rapping about, you know, wanting to commit suicide and hearing voices and all that stuff, all the street life and the guns. And you saw the same reaction. You saw people lift their hands up and it felt like I was being praised for speaking death over myself. You know what I'm saying? So... I I I I look back now and I'm like, man, like it it, it it feels to me like, man, the devil had me exactly where he wanted me, you know, like I was I was like a puppet, you know, because nothing that I was saying is good for anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like it, that's not gonna do them any good. They just they just gonna become they either gonna be dead or in jail, you know, or victims are gonna maintain being victims. They're not gonna try to get out, you know, they don't want to, they ain't going to want to get out the hood and, for, and look for a better life. So I just felt like it was all lies. Like I look back now and I'm like, man, like I was just, I was just broken. I was broken. I needed, I needed the right people in my life. I needed direction. Um, But when you're in that, when you're in that world and in th those circles where there's no leader, there's no father, you know, what else you're going to do? I remember one time I got a cousin who I was 21 and he was 16. And now I'm 50 deep outside my house. And I will go to, I will go tour and come back. And my mother would call me while I was on tour. Like, hey, your boys are still hanging outside. Well, they're here. You're not here. But it was because they, they love me so much. And like, they didn't have nowhere else to go. So they hang out in front of my house. But I remember my cousin, a little, little boy, bro. I'm 21. He's. 15, 16, and he told, he looked at me. He said, bro, are you okay with this? Little kid telling me, are you okay with this? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, do you, you think this is life? Like, you guys are okay with this life? Like, this is all you do. And I'm like, damn, thinking about it now, I'm like, he must have been hearing that at home. His father and mother must have been talking crap about me, <laughs> that he repeated it. But I remember, I, I remember now, you know, to that moment, I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? There were little kids back then that were more mature than me. <laughs> you, you know, what's crazy is that like you were saying, like people are putting their hands up to the negative message. Right. But it yeah. speaks volumes about the um, the mental health of people in general. If that's something that you um, connect with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if yeah. that's something that you resonate with, those those type of messages, and it, it says a lot about, you know, maybe the traumas that you've endured that you haven't dealt with, and and the things that that you know that you relate to. Yeah, and you know, I don't want to bash it again. I don't regret being in that in that side. Um, you know, I felt spiritually I was being pulled away from 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 being awake and seeing life for what it is, a gift. But, you know, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like comedy. Like comedy, somebody can disrespect you in a comedy show and talk bad about your race and talk and, and even mention things that you were traumatized with, but you'll laugh because you know that that moment is meant for healing. Somehow, I don't know how I can explain it. But laughing brings healing. So the comedian has a gift to heal people by bringing up what happened and just making a joke out of it. Can't explain it, but that's how it is. You right. know? So hip hop music, hip hop music, in a sense, it's all, it's almost the same way. You're talking about, you know, these are storytellers. We're storytellers, and I still do it to this day. I do my Christian music, but I'm still talking to you about the drug dealers. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're just telling you the story of the things that we see, you know, I do it differently now where now I'm telling you the consequences of it. 
Back then, I didn't. Back then, I used to tell you it was cool. It was okay. That was the thing to do. You know, don't turn the other cheek. You know, but when 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 you're young and you're listening to that and you don't have people in your life that are, you know, caring for you the way that they should, um, you know, rappers become their, their, their pastors, become their ministers. They're the ones preaching something that's relatable to you because they're the only ones that are bringing up the stuff that you see every day. So you were talking about earlier about the abuse and, and the domestic violence. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you're listening to the rapper talk about it. So you, you, you feel like you can relate to them. Even though they're promoting it, right? 